Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Adriel Arabia. I want to discuss a really, really hot topic, <laughs> but it's necessary. Um, this has been on my heart for a while, and it's about sexual immorality. Um, excuse how I'm looking here all over the place, but whatever. Okay, so 1 Corinthians 6.18, the New International Version. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. So basically, um, the person who masturbates, the person who uses sex toys, anyone who has same-sex relationships, homosexuality, anyone who commits fornication, that means having sex and you're not married. Anyone who commits adultery, that means having sex with other people while you're married. Um, you know, anything that the Bible speaks against that is pretty much sexual sexual immorality. So why is why is this so important? A lot of people don't understand that when they sin against their own body, it causes things to happen. <clears throat> sexual immorality. See, everything happens first in the spiritual realm. And then it comes to the natural realm. So everything happens in the spiritual realm first. Then it comes to the natural realm. It manifests from the spiritual realm to the natural realm. So if a person is sinning against their own body and having sex um, without being married, they're doing all this stuff without being married, um, or they're doing it immorally, um, basically um, the consequences of sin is death. Death does not necessarily mean a physical death, but it can mean a physical death. Death can mean loss in finances, loss in finances, loss in situations, loss in health, you know, um, body deformity. Um, you can't lose weight. You can't gain weight. Um, headaches, you know, confusion, depression, suicidal thoughts. Uh, it, 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 it can cause a lot of different um, things, you know, and it's spiritual. So why is it? Because when you are in, when you are engaging in sex, you are engaging in a spiritual process. That's why there is a such thing called soul ties. So, you ever seen a person where they're with a really disrespectful person and they just can't seem to break away? It's because it's a sexual, spiritual soul tie there. Whenever you have sex with anybody, it become it creates a soul tie. So, <clears throat> if you are So if you have all these soul ties with all these different people or one person or whatever, then there's going to be some issues in the spiritual realm because it deals with the spirit, the soul, you know. So um, my whole thing is this. What the Lord wants for us to do is follow his standards. He set a standard. And as humans, when humans have sex with each other, you are supposed to be married. Marriage is between a man and a woman. That's it. And you know what's holy and what's not holy. You know what's right and what's wrong. Even if you're not a Christian or anything, you know what's right and what's wrong. So refrain from sexual sin. Refrain from sinning against the Lord through sexual sin. And not only against the Lord, but sinning against your own body. People think, people think that they're having a lot of fun. People think that they are doing the darn thing, okay? They think that they're doing the darn thing. But in all actuality, the person, in all actuality, the person, in all actuality, the person that is engaging in unmarital sex, homosexuality, um adultery and any type of other perversion any type of other sex that god does not approve of you are you are perpetuating the demonic realm in their abilities to work in your life because you're not agreeing with what god has said with the standards that he set 
it's not because he said wait until you're married you know he said wait until you're married so at this point you would not be agreeing with what God has set in place and if you're not agreeing with what God has set in place, who are you agreeing with? <laughs> you know, so in that at that point, whoever you live for, whoever you follow, whoever rules, whatever rules you follow, the good rules belong to the Lord, the bad rules belong to Satan. So whoever rules you follow, that spirit, because God is a spirit, and you know Satan is a spirit they're, they're spiritual beings so whatever spirit you follow you allow legally they have access to your life to work in your life legally if you if you are following Satan's rules and what he wants you to do he has legal access spiritually to work in your life and so he can spiritually in in a person's life that is doing the, the, the things that they're not supposed to do and it doesn't even it's not even it's not even limited to um, it's not limited to sexual sin this is in all aspects but the sexual sin is just worse because it's against God and your body it's against God and you um, but you know, some people, they don't understand why they're so depressed, why they can't get out of certain situations. Why do they keep repeating the same cycles? Why doesn't anything change? It's usually because of sexual sin. Because sexual sin, it comes with multiple things. It comes with the desire to overeat. It comes with a, it comes with a desire to have more, more of what is physical, more of what is harmful. You know, it sexual sin is is a physical and sp and spiritual act, a spiritual and physical act. The demonic realm can wreak havoc spiritually and physically to the person that commits sexual sin. When people tell me, when uh, you know, when I, I hear certain people, they say, "Well, you know, don't have sex, just use a toy or." masturbate you know or the, I've had I've heard conversations that are similar to that or that are around that arena and I don't want to and sometimes I just I just um I don't say anything because I know it's like sometimes it's not it's not the time and the place you know so sometimes I'm just like oh man you know what they don't understand and this is why I'm doing this video now because I have to I have to say it I have to say it so what the people don't understand when they talk like that you know it's no better it's no better it's like okay you're not sleeping with a human you might as well you know refrain from sexual immorality it's bigger than what you think everybody wants to be the, the, the hot the hot person you know, everybody wants to be the sexualized person. To, this world is so sexualized today. This world is so full of sex. Unholy sex. It's so full of people that want to associate themselves. What people don't understand as well, sexual sin, it causes delay, it causes doors to be closed, it causes headaches, it causes pain, it causes early premature death, it causes body deformity, it causes you not to be able to lose weight, it causes you not to be able to gain weight, it causes depression, it causes suicidal thoughts, it causes a lot of turmoil within you, turmoil within you. And anything that is in the natural best believe it was spiritual first so if God says wait till you're married you know marriage is between a man and a woman if God says wait until you're married and you do not follow God's rules and God's laws God is a spirit okay he's a holy spirit so if you don't follow the holy spirit and God's laws and God's rules right which we're under grace now but it's still laws that we have to follow like so anyway, if you don't follow what God has put in place, which is the best thing to follow, 
you know, which is the best way. By default, you are following Satan, or maybe you're really choosing to follow Satan, you know? So if you are not following Holy Spirit, then you are following Satan's spirit. <clears throat> if it's not what God says, then it's by default what Satan says. Whatever spirit you follow, that spirit has legal access and legal right to work in your life. If you follow God's laws and what God wants you to do, he's, he's the one that created you. So he has a purpose. He, you know, but if you follow what he wants you to do, then heaven will be backing you. Heaven will be on your side. They will go out to perform for you. You know, God will be able to um, work in your life. You know, you'll be in a rest. You'll be resting in the Lord and he, he'll be working. You'll be resting in God and he'll be working for you. The angels will be working for you. He will give you favor with people. But if you follow Satan's rules, the demonic realm will definitely be working for you and against you. They will be working against you, okay? They will have legal access to you, to your life, to your family, to people around you. Sin does not just affect you, it affects the people around you, right? So, if you follow Satan and what he wants, get ready for the consequences. And see, a lot of people, they think that God causes bad things to happen. No, 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 no. God is good. He really is. Everything good comes from God. And everything bad, it comes from Satan or it comes from you allowing. It comes from you making a bad decision and allowing Satan to come in legally. There are spiritual laws, just like the law of gravity. You throw a rock up, it's gonna, the rock's gonna, you throw a rock up, the rock's gonna come back down. Same thing in the spiritual realm. Everything is spiritual first, okay? There are laws, there's a government, there is a courtroom in heaven. Just like there are laws here on earth, there's a government, there's a courtroom, there, there are many courtrooms here. So there are different um, spiritual laws that people do not know about. And the Bible says that, people, that the Lord's people perish from lack of knowledge. People perish from the lack of knowledge. And so, um, you know, and some, sometimes people ask me, um, why, do I, why do you talk about spirits? Because everything is spiritual first, everything. So um, when you use sex toys, um, when you masturbate, sex toys, masturbate, homosexual sex, um, fornication, adultery, when you do all of that, that is sexual sin, sexual immorality. And it is basically you going against what the Lord wants you to do. When people say, oh, you know, well, instead of having sex with a guy, you know, just use a sex toy, you know, just whatever, whatever. It's still sexual immorality. A, a physical human may not be there, oh, but someone's there that you are participating with, you are engaging sexually with. Someone is there when you do, when you use sex toys, when you masturbate, someone is there. You can't see the person, but someone's there. So this is just real quick. This has been on my heart. Um, and I just had to say something. Everybody wants to associate themselves with sex now. I want to be wanted. I want to be sexy. There's nothing wrong with being sexy. There's nothing wrong with being cute. Nothing wrong with being beautiful, but everybody wants to be associated with some type of sex in a certain way. Why is that? Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked. This is all Satan's plan. Satan has a plan. And most of the world, unfortunately, is falling for it. And they don't even see it. They're in bondage. So, God bless you.